Alrighty then, here we are for the last Descendants tutorial. So if you haven't seen so far, we have done Mal, we have done Evie, we've done Carlos. Now, for the last part of the Fantastic Four, we have to draw Jay from the Descendants from Disney's Wicked World. So it's like, yeah, Disney's Descendants Wicked World. It's the cartoon of descendants but this is just an easier way for you guys to draw them except instead of like drawing them as humans <laughs> but yes yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with Jay. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the side of his face kind of round off the top of his forehead bring his chin up and let's connect it I'm gonna go ahead and put down my eye line and for his nose line, we have an extreme quarter profile look. So we can see a lot of the profile of his face, so it is a quarter look. So we see more of this side of his face as opposed to this side of his face. So I'm going to bring my nose guideline all the way over here. Lay out where his eyes are going to go. And they're a bit, they're a bit smaller than, they're not as big. So I'm going to go ahead and make these almond shaped eyes. So I'm going to put one right here, and then I'm going to jump over and do another one right here. So this, this eye is actually going to build off of his nose ridge, and then go down. Let's go ahead and shape up these eyes just a little bit so we've got a thick eyelash line on top and just a little bit of an eyelash line down here and then I'm going to go ahead and create the pupil profile oh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw pupil iris area and I'm going to go make this thick eyelash line just like I did over here make this thick down below Go ahead and put where his pupil and iris are gonna go. I'm gonna give a little shine to his eye. Pupil. Give a little shine to it right here and then fill it in his pupil. Just a little bit of an eyelid line right here. I'm gonna make a little bit of that bottom eyelash line over here like I did here. I'm gonna make it over there as well. And then I'm gonna make this nice and dark at the side. Now let's go ahead and make his nose. And start his nose ridge up here. Bring this down where it's going alongside of the eye, and then it's gonna go outwards. And then round it down. So we go a little bit ways down to here. Give a little nostril off to the side, and then the side of his nose. So we want to make sure that this nose ridge is pretty flat so it just goes boom boom down so it's pretty flat so from this nose ridge what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead bring up one eyebrow and one box goes all the way off the side of his forehead and then another eyebrow over here I'm just gonna go ahead and make the bottom line to it Jump on top and create the other one, the other top of this eyebrow. And it is pretty thick eyebrow, and I'm just gonna go ahead and color it in because they are very dark. His mouth might be a little bit difficult, so we're gonna go ahead and just do the top line. So I'm gonna go a little bit underneath my nose right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and give him a smile like an upper lip smile give him that dimple so we have a, this one's gonna go all the way over here so we have this top line 
But what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and just leave a little bit of a crack of a smile going up into his lip. So we have one little crack. See it? Just kind of like a smirk. And then I'm going to go underneath and make sure he has a thick bottom lip. Let's shape up his head just a little bit more. So I'm going to keep this forehead part going inward. So I'm going to bring out his cheekbone on this side. Bring it down. Bring it out his cheekbone. Bring down his chin to where it's kind of pointing outwards just a bit. Square off his chin. Bring it up. There's the cheekbone. So let's go ahead and draw his neck because we don't want Jay to be a floating head. So I'm going to go underneath his chin starting here. Bring this down. Go inwards just a bit and then I'm going to jump off to the side about right here where his, his cheekbone is. Bring down this side of his neck. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring out this shoulder. Just start to round that down over there, and then I'm gonna jump back over here. The shoulder is going upwards. I wanna make sure that they're even on each side. Yes. Round this off to the side right here. So we, we're gonna start all the way up here. So we do, uh, we're gonna start about here with his beanie. So we're gonna give a little bit of forehead room. Bring that beanie all the way across. Jump off to the side. Bring up the top of his beanie. Then it's gonna curve inward just a little bit. Bring this down. So I'm gonna make this just not, it's not flat, it's just in some extra space because this isn't all of his head up here. It's just a beanie sitting on top of his head. So we have a little bit of space down up here. We're gonna flatten out this side and then bring it down to over here. And we're gonna go ahead and just round off the bottom. So I'm gonna jump right here alongside of his eyebrow and bring down one part of his hair. So we have this side of his hair. So I'm gonna go underneath his beanie and his hair is going to go inwards and then down and back. And then we're going to see a little bit of his hair on this side as well, coming down alongside of his cheek. And it's going to go down and then go up alongside of his neck. So this part of his hair is going to go down, up, there's another clump of his hair, goes up, and then back behind his shoulder. So let's go ahead and divide this up into a couple more pieces of hair. So we've got one piece of hair that's kind of flowing out this way. This one's going down. And this one's just going to be broken up into pieces. Just to make it look a little bit more natural. Alright, so for this part, this what we what we drew out over here are pieces of his vest. So let's go ahead and piece this together. So I'm gonna go underneath his hair just a little bit. Go underneath. And we got another weird side cut. And then I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna draw through his hair for right now. So I'm gonna go up and make kind of like this. I don't know. It just looks like a dolphin, a shark fin to me. It's just the flap to his vest and it's open up. So it's opened up this way. This part of his vest is going to go out this way. And what's going on is if we have a bit like a shoulder pad and this is yellow and this is blue. So I'm just going to lightly color that in so we know that it's blue. 
Same thing goes on over here with the shoulder pad kind of thing. We've got yellow. Bring down this part of his vest. It's going to go down. I'm going to make this other section of his vest. And then we have that opening. So we have right here and then this part is open and then it meets kind of over here where we have that zipper. So I'm going to go ahead make that zipper out over here so round off his arm we all know that boo boo is quite buff mm. <laughs> and so we're gonna go ahead and define this what is it bicep <laughs> so, I'm sorry if it's your girl okay so I'm gonna go up kind of round off this side bring down this forearm and then I'm going to start curving upwards and then I'm going to go right back and then go upwards right here and let's go ahead and define this a little bit more so we got this part curved inward and we're going to make this part And then what I want to do over here at his wrist, I'm going to go ahead and give him one part of his glove so it's sectioned off. So here's this bottom part of his glove. And then his glove, his actual hand is tucked inside of his other arm. So let's draw his other arm. Bring this outwards. And then we have his forearm. We're going to go bring this down off to the side. Make like an elbow. And this is going to go inwards. And then we have this little gap in his elbow forearm area. And bring down his vest all the way into his glove so his hands tucked inside his arm right here and this arms just kind of going up and it's probably folded underneath his ginormous forearm so let's define his forearm just a little bit more because he's a very muscular man go ahead and bring out this side and then I want to bring out this side a little bit shorter bring this up here and then bring his forearm straight down so get rid of that I made that a little bit too long underneath this flap I'm just I have a couple of stripes here and then the zipper is gonna have the exact same pattern where it's blue on here and this is yellow so this is blue and then over here we have a blue part it's not a zipper but it's just a part of his vest and then this is yellow Let's shade Jay's face just a little bit so I have a little bit of shading coming from his eyebrow, his right eyebrow, and then I'm just going to kind of bring that shadow down, shading alongside of his nose, and then underneath his nose, lightly shade that in, and I'm going to shade over here, and lightly shade over here as well and under his lip just a little bit but yes I hope you enjoyed the Descendants tutorial series and I hope you all check out Descendants 2 it's a fun awesome movie and yeah totally go watch it on the Disney Channel or Freeform but yes guys have a wonderful day Bye!